good. Good fine, thank you. Okay. Thank you, Professor. Yeah, which is important. Now, where the next next space? Okay. Where the next space? And the previous space. Let's check if you have anything left. First, I have a question. Uh, it's difficult to see whole face together. Yes, please. Did you move to the second question yet? I'm in the second, the second page yet. Or am I bugging? No, uh, we are still. We are, I'm still in first place. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, Professor, I got you. Now I thought I saw the second page for a second. Yeah. So. This is this first space is the first space field and then first space just to know the exponent of power. Okay, exponent in power. I told here's the exponent power. Okay, 10 power 1, 10 power 2, 10 power 3, right? So this you can say exponent or power. Okay, so so 10 to the 0, so that means there's no 0 after 1, so that's 1, right? 10.0 yeah, 10 is 1. Okay, 10.0 right, is gotcha. 1. Your power is 0 or exponent is 0. So everything power 0 is 1. Okay. I got you now. Yeah, I understand. Okay. Now let's move to the next slide. Next slide. Okay. I have to move to five because. Uh, okay. Here the formula. The formula zero exponent look here zero exponent 10 for zero equal to one we already know that okay and then uh your negative exponent negative exponent is one over okay one divided by okay one divided by one divided by one divided by the negative exponent keep in mind so one divided by 10 for n that is we can say it is 10 negative and 10 power negative and okay then exponent negative and and one divided by one divided by 10 negative n equal to 10 power n we already discussed this thing in the last class right understand this thing uh yeah the negative exponent i don't think we went over that one i'm not sure I'm not, i don't remember that one okay so, so you said so you said if it's uh, the all right so let's say it's negative on the, the uh, denominator is going to be the opposite and the in the result right right in case of division in case of division okay if it is not negative right it's not negative but it's equal to negative okay and why yes. should we be taking notes uh if you understand i think it's okay 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 yeah. Yeah. if you understand from here then it's fine okay because this is the note. okay clear record anymore because they had a they added a new policy that oh, you man. the teacher is not allowed to record anymore but we'll okay. still be adding okay. to these um these things but i think it will if he does a youtube video explaining this I will try accordingly. Okay. Yeah, so well, Dr. This, this lab we prepare actually as a clear note. Okay. But we need some discussion. That's why we are discussing. After that, if you have any question, uh, uh, let's, uh, I'll try to give you accordingly. Okay. So uh, next time, uh, what I can do further, I can uh, 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 copy everything, prepare separate lecture note like this slide. Okay. PowerPoint slide accordingly. 
so that you can see as bigger and you can understand quickly. I can do that. Okay. I think that will be very helpful. And uh, uh, but before that, I'll uh, upload you this uh, uh, lab. Okay. Every lab I'll upload you before your class so that you Perfect. can take preparation. It would be helpful if you can uh, highlight what we can um, take down as notes. Oh, some notes, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Then I'll keep some notes. Not Thank you. Yeah. And you could use the pencil thing. Well, yeah, we have to here. We have many things we can use here, right? We can yes. try and then we can do okay. Okay, no problem. Since it is clearly written and last class we discussed, that's why I think you will understand. If not, then of course I'll do. Okay. Okay. Right. Now, one over 10 power 4. One over 10 power 4. It's going to be 10 to the negative 4 power. 10 power negative 4, right? 10 power negative 4 based on this formula, right? Based on this formula. Yeah. So, in this right. formula, like, 1 over 10 to the power 4, when you um, when you make it to like the exponent, the exponent will always be negative. Yeah, the exponent is negative. Okay, and it's always the opposite, right? Yes. Okay. Good. Why the why the power why the exponent for power for power is positive? Then we have to write negative. Okay, then, okay. Then we have to write uh, positive. Oh, so it's pretty much like writing it the same, but just short. And so it's like one over a one over a thousand. So that's the same thing, right? Right. Good. I so you know. this is the negative exponent. Okay, this is the negative exponent. We understand now. Product of power of 10, product of power of 10, we are going to understand, okay? Product of power of 10, product we understand that the one term going to multiply the other term. And here, the if base equal, in base equal, 10 is called base and uh, exponent is called power, okay? So when base equal, then Power added. Okay, when base equal, then power added. There. So yeah. that's why. Look here. Here is a ten base. Here is also ten base. So power added and plus n and plus n. Right. So. We can repeat that. Yeah. This is the formula. What do you understand during product? During product, if oh, base. Like you're adding, right? Yeah. Yeah. Power exponent added. Right. Okay, doing yeah. product, the base equal then exponent of it. Here the base equal, here is 10, here also 10. So exponent is in, uh, m and n, so m plus n. So it would always be m plus n, right? right. Now. Yeah, okay. always, always power added, okay? Okay. And then, yeah. Yeah, right. This must be something. So this is the this uh, this is one rules. Okay, one formula. Okay, product of power of ten. We have to keep in mind this. Okay, we have to keep in mind this. So when I'm going to give you some problem in exam to solve, then I must have to give you this formula. Okay, don't worry about this. Okay, I'll give you this formula, but better if we understand formula okay very good now let's try to solve this one okay one i'm going to from each from each i'm going to explain one okay and mm -hmm. other you have to travel which one are we on <clears throat> professor number three right example 1.2 yeah number two example uh, uh, now we are in number two example two. okay okay so at least one thousand right okay yeah one thousand and it is 10,000, mm -hmm. right? And 1,000, 1,000 can you write as 10 cube? Third. 10 third, right? 10 power three? Yes. Okay. And then 10,000 can you write 10 power four? Yes, because it's yes. a four zero. Right. So what do you understand? If we skip at the, how many zero we have here? That will be the? Seven zeros. Seven. Okay, number of zero will be the exponent. Keep in mind. Here's the number of zero is four, four. That's why exponent is four. Here's the number of zero is three. That's why exponent is three. And then 
And then can you check with this uh, with the formula, right? The basic same power added. Base same power added. So base 10, base 10. So power added. So 10 power 3 plus 4. Okay, 10 power 3 plus 4. This is equal to 10 power 7. Thank you. So 10, 10 power 3 plus 4 equal to 10 power 7. Right? So this is the answer. So you understand? Yes. Uh, don't do something wrong, my student. Uh, everybody can see this thing, so don't do that. Okay? And you are senior, you are college student now. Okay? Yes. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was only me who was sorry about this. It's okay. Sometimes I don't think it's happened. Okay, sometimes by mistake it happens, so no problem, but uh, uh, let's not to do, okay? So uh, it's also interrupting. Now, we understand this formula? The, okay. the only thing I understand was um, you said um, the powers? Yeah, power. The power, so wait, you're, you're still on A, right? Yeah, we solved A. So what, do you, what I'm going to say that the number of zero will be the exponent. How many zero here? Three, right? Three. So ten point three. How many zero? Four. Uh, the first. Four. And then this is the ten point seven is the answer. Ten point seven. Okay. Final answer, right? Yeah, right. This is the final answer. Ten point seven. Okay. Oh, I like like fully like with the seven the seven zeros. Would you get that wrong or would you like? I mean. Oh, if you write one and then seven zero, this is okay. But uh, oh, okay. uh, when when someone will ask you to write your answer as power of ten, then you have to write as power of ten. Power of ten, you understood power of ten. Power of ten, seven is called power, and base is called ten. Power of ten. Okay. 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 So that's why the power of ten. Okay. Thomas, I have any question, Thomas? Yeah. And then the next one is, look here, next one also I'm going to explain to you. 0 0.0001. 0 0 right? How many zero? Five zero six. Negative six. Because you're, you're moving it, you're moving oh, right. it behind the one. Behind yeah, the one. Right. That's right. Good, very good. After this one, we have this six digit, right? Yes. After this one, six digit, that's why 10 for negative six. Okay, this one will be the negative. Yeah, negative six, right? Negative six. So yeah. Three is very good. The bottom yeah. one, right? All yeah. right. Good. And then so, so the first the first variable is always going to be m. So like let's say like zero point zero 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 one. That's going to be always be m, right? The first number is always m. Yes. The first oh. number is that. Yes, and second one is the end. Okay. okay. Gotcha. First one is the end, and second one is the end. So, the next one is, so you, and then the, we have the hundred, right? Hundred means, how can say hundred means? Ten power. 10.2, right? 100 is 10.2, right? Second, power 7. The, and then it's like, look here, 10 power negative 6, 10 power 2. It's like M and N, right? Base is 10. Here is 10, here is 10. Here is 10, here is 10. So 10 power negative 6 plus 2. That is 10 power negative 4. Yeah. Okay. So this type of one question I have to give you an exam. So if you understand that you'll get the full score. Okay. But if you don't understand still, let's discuss. We have time. We can discuss. So you're gonna give us questions like the uh, like the negative exponent on the on the, the quiz too, right? Uh, yeah, maybe I can give 
give you like the 0 0.00000 here the after 50 maybe i can give you after 70 after 90 or after 30 okay so don't worry about this you have to count the number of number of digit after decimal that will be the negative exponent okay and i got it. number of zero after one that will be the positive exponent that's it so i'm um, professor yeah sure so basically we're just getting it down to the same base and working with the exponents afterwards right okay same base it's basis or basis 10 power of 10 they say 10 it is always 10 okay always you have to keep 10. okay thank you okay um, we have the base two also but that is different okay if uh, maybe you'll not see here it now Then, can I move to the next topic? Yeah, yeah. Yes, Professor. Oh, this is the uh, quotient of power of 10. Okay, division. Okay, division. This one is the multiplication, now is the division. Division, we are going to divide 10 for n by 10 for n. That's it. And during division, if base same, then during division, power subtract. Okay, power subtract. We have to subtract denominator power from numerator. That is m minus n. Okay. You understand? We say that one more time, Professor. This is division. Okay, during division, power subtract. Power subtract. Yeah. M minus n. Okay. This Did you change the page? Because I, I still see the same page. Yeah, base base must be same. Okay, base must be same. If this base is same four, only, okay, when base same only, then we can do like this. First, we're going to question four or five. I'm sorry. Yeah. One number four. Thank yeah, you. we have number four now. And the number four is this question. Okay, let's try to solve this one. Let's try to solve this one. Hundred thousand. So, mm -hmm. That's seven. Hundred thousand. Five. How many? How many zero after one? Uh, five zeros. Five. So Let's five. say ten for five. Okay, ten for five. So top value and, is going to be m. Yeah, top value is the m. Good. Yeah. And then the denominator is thousand, right? Yeah, it's three. Yeah. Three. Ten for three, right? Very good. Now, can you write ten for five minus three? Yeah, well, yes, right, the simplified version. Yeah, like this, right? And 10 for 5 minus 3, that is 10 squared. Okay, this is the answer. Yeah. Okay, so this is the answer. Yeah. Okay. You answer, you understand that, right? Now, yeah, this yeah. also sim similarly the same thing. Okay. 10 power. You got to put the decimal point behind the one. I mean, after the one. Yeah. So negative four. Okay. Look at this first, and then we have to count. Okay, how many? We have the four, right? That's why it's so 10 for the four. And then here is 100, 100 being 10, 10 squared. Okay, 10 for two. Now 10 for negative four, negative two. This is very important. Keep in mind. Yes. How did it become negative two? Negative two, this is the denominator power is two. Oh, okay, okay. Look at denominator, denominator power is n, n is negative, right? So denominator is two, two is negative. Okay? Uh, don't, don't use many finger. Okay, don't use many pointer. Okay? Yeah, because yeah, it's, okay. it's the denominator. Yeah, denominator term will subtract, okay? From the well, numerator. So it's going to be negative mm -hmm. two plus negative four, right? Yeah. So when it's right. under the denominator and it's a positive, it'll turn into a negative. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Now what happened, if it was, say it was as 10, negative uh, two, right? It would still be two? No, it, it, it will be positive to that. Oh, okay, okay. If it's negative two here, 
then mm -hmm. it will be possible to hear. All right, I understand. Okay, okay good, great. Now the power of 10 for this, okay, this is another formula, power of a power of 10. That is power over power. 10 power is M, and mm -hmm. power they have, that is M. Okay, it is called the this power is wrong. of 10. This is wrong, it was not laying behind the one. Which one? Number four, this is wrong. We're not laying oh, behind. This answer is correct. If you count. We're talking about, yeah, yeah, it has to be in front of the, the that's supposed to be in front of the one, so it's one, two, three, four, four spaces. Oh. All right. This is how many here? One, one, two, three, four, right? After this one, we have the four. four it has a count from the decimal to the right. Yeah. So, right so after one, how does it become a ten? One, how did it become to ten? It became a ten because it's the going the other direction. Hmm. So, while we are going to write as power of 10, while we are going to write as power of 10, if the number after decimal or decimal right, then you have to count the number of digit, okay? One, two, three, four, okay? That four will be the power of 10 as negative. So it's automatically okay. power 10. Yeah. Okay. okay. Always, always, always 10, okay? Because it is power of 10. Okay, power of 10. So uh, don't mix up with this. Like here, students are thinking that there here is 5, 0. Okay. Why are you writing 10 and the power of 5? Yeah, it is the rule. Okay. 10 is the base here. Okay. Number of 0 will be the power. Keep in mind. Okay. 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 And similarly here, the, after one, we have the two zero, two square, okay? Two square, and then the, we can subtract it, okay? 10 power by negative four, negative two. 10 power negative four, negative two. So based on this formula rule, and then we can get here, 10 power negative six, okay? Good. You're great, very good. Now the power, power over power, power over power, is simply mn, okay? Power multiply. When the power over power, then power multiply. m times n, that is mn. Multiply to the base, right? No, 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 base, base only one here. Okay? All right. Okay. Oh, so, all right, so you have to simplify and then multiply the exponent by whatever the yeah. is. Only multiply the exponent, only based on the one base here, right? All right, I got you. Great. Now look here. This example, here is 1,000. 1,000 means 10 cube, three. Exactly. So k, 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 look, M, N. Is this like M, N, right? M, N, okay. So what do you did here? Just to multiply this two. Now let's multiply three times four is 12, 10 for 12. 12, it's 12, yeah. 10 to the 12 powers. Yeah, what is that? Yes. Okay. Uh, it's going to be one. This one we have to understand. What is that? Zero point. One, two, three, four, five, five. Negative five, negative five, my bad. No, here's how many zeros? Four zeros and one, right? Four five. zeros and one says five, yeah. Very good. Oh, negative five. Very good. Negative five. You all understand? You all understand? Great. Yes. And then what is the power here? Three, right? So you so do three. a negative times three. It's very right. good. Ten for negative three. Okay, ten for negative three. It's very good. So I think you understand, right? So it can solve any problem if you see if, you, if we understand this thing and similar any problem we can solve. Okay, now let's move to the 
phase three. Phase three, there is uh, some problem that you have to solve. Okay. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Professor. Yes. All right, for the lab, is it okay if I write on a different sheet of paper but number it the same way? Yeah, you can write in different, different paper and then you can scan and you can attach them. Okay, perfect. Or you can upload in the Blackboard also, no problem. Okay. So uh, don't don't write directly. I know here is the four zeros and three zeros is seven. Ten per seven is good. Yeah, ten per three, ten per four, very good. Yes. And then and then finally you have to write ten per seven. Good. Okay, ten per seven is the answer. So we could just write we could just write uh, ten over seven, right? You don't need a. No, no, no. It, it's better if you if you. This is, the, this is the final answer. Okay, it's final answer ten per seven. Okay, but it is ten per three, right? You have to yeah. write ten per three. And oh, then so I, have to, I, have to show the I have to show the work for the answers. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because you're doing lab, okay? So that's why you have to show the working also. Okay. So we write ten, right? Yeah. Uh, do, do we lose work if we don't show our work? I mean, do yeah. we lose our credits if we don't show our work? No, we are working uh, working is the best. Okay, if you uh, have to, if show it working because if you write this thing and by mistake if it is wrong, then you will get zero. Okay, but if you show some working, then because of working you will get fine. If oh, the yeah, answer, you. yeah, if the answer is wrong, no problem. Because of your working, you will get uh, fifty percent, sixty percent fine. But by mistake, if it is wrong, any any reason, if it is wrong, then you will get zero. No, you're not wrong. I'm not saying you're not wrong, but you have to show the working. So, uh, what do you understand? What do you understand from the page one? Professor, for, for instance, right? It would be parentheses ten to the power of three, close parentheses, open parentheses, ten to the power of four, close yeah. parentheses equals ten to the power of seven, right? Right. Okay, that's so, how you. Want to do. Okay. Yeah, ten for three, ten for three, times ten for four equal to ten for seven. That's it. Okay, okay. I see how you want it. Yeah, yeah. If, if we don't need to use many times parentheses. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm just I'm just used to the parentheses. That's why. Okay, no problem. It's okay. Now, uh, similarly, you have to solve all this thing. Okay, based on the rules we practice. All right. You know, we, we we follow. We understand some formula, right? Based on this formula, these these are from based on the product rule. These are based on the quotient rule, division rule. This also division rule. This is the power rule. Okay. Can you remember power over power? M and M times N. This two is the power rule. Okay. So just to practice the previous slide again, and then you can solve. I, I believe you can solve it very easily. Okay. Right. No problem. Very good. You're going to give us time real quick to do this? Huh? Sorry? I said you're going to give us a few minutes to do this real quick? Yeah, yeah. Do it now. So, okay. okay. So do it now you all together here do it now and then uh i'll check okay and all right. we can we can discuss okay because we have the beginning okay so in the beginning we have to discuss more professor you sure making sure. like picking students to do the problems no oh, that's a good idea i like that yeah, and I like sir, that. that sounds good. That sounds amazing. Sounds like it'll work. Uh, you're looking for answer. And Mr. Kazi is number two, yeah. uh, 10 to the power of three. 10 for three. So it is given the 10 for negative three, and it's given the 10 for six. Yeah, 10 for three. Very good. All right, just making sure I don't want to look stupid. Very good. <laughs> So it's 10 to the power of negative three, okay. And then 10 for positive six. Yep. 10 to the power of six equals equals 10 to the power of three. Too hard.
So number three, is that is that ten to uh, ten? Ten for negative two. Yeah. So number four, number, number three, ten for negative two, right? Very good. Oh. Oh my God! I can't even count. How many zeros is there? Too many. Mm -hmm. Is four um ten to the negative seven? Uh, so four is how many zeros here? How many zeros do you have in the uh, right side of the decimal? You have nine one. zeros, and then you have one one, so that's ten. Okay. Ten so to ten, the negative ten. Oh. ten for negative ten, right? And then there's sure. a ten for three. So ten for negative seven. Good. So for first, for number three, right? It would be ten to the power of two. Yeah, negative uh, two. 10 for negative 2 because denominator is 4, right? Yeah. Yeah, 4. So when is go, when you write, if, it, if 4 is positive, when you, when you write in linear, then 4 becomes negative, right? So 10 for 2 minus 4. Okay, and all right, this thing 10 for negative 10 for 6. It's very good. Okay, uh, I, and, still don't, I still don't understand how uh, it's 10 to the power of negative 2. Because okay. in, in the example it's showing, it's, it's positive. No, no, you have to subtract them both. You have to subtract, them both. Have no, to subtract okay. 2 from or yeah, 4 two from 2. Four. No, it's two uh, uh, oh, from two. Two minus four. Two minus four. Then negative two. Oh. Right? Okay. No, I was talking about I was talking about like setting it up. That's what I was talking about. Okay. I wasn't talking about the full answer. I know that. Like I know you gotta do two minus four to get yeah. negative. Right. I was talking about so like it would be uh ten to the power two minus uh 10 to the power of negative 4. Now, uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Why do you subtract that? All, we have to write only 1 times 10. Okay. okay. Let's look here. Okay. Yeah, let's go to the uh, previous slide. Uh, but we are here to understand, right? Very good. So, where is the division rule? Look here. This is m by n, right? Mm -hmm. When you subtract, then we have to write 10 only one time, okay? And we subtract denom denominator from the numerator, right? m mm -hmm. minus n. So lower term is, we, we, in your case, lower term is 4, right? And upper was 2. So 2 minus 4, okay? 10 for 2 minus 4, that is minus 2. Oh, you're not what I'm saying, but I was writing it like this, like to solve for it. Look. Okay. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you right now. Very good. So this way you have to practice complete the other. Okay. Uh, take time and then they try to understand the formula. The formula we discuss in the phase two. Okay. The second slide, and and then you can solve it very quickly. Okay. You can take help from your calculator also. But we suggest not to use the calculator. Okay. Mr. Kaz. Yes. Professor, professor yes. Number six. Answer number six. Okay, let's check. Answer number six, you right here. Professor, that's right there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Yeah, so six. 10 for negative there's... six or five. That is 10 for negative 30. 10 for negative 30? Yeah, and yeah. the power of 5. Very good, very good. Okay, and this equal to 10 for uh, 5, 6 is 30, right? Negative 30. Okay? Very good. Clear? 
Cause you can check chat real quick. That's how. That's why I meant. Which one? This uh, number. For this number six. No, no. For number three, like that's what it, I wrote it in the chat, like how I wrote it. That's what I was talking about. Uh, did you write ten? Uh, uh, keep, keep, keep fraction. Uh, first, you write ten power two divided by ten power four. Mm -hmm. And then you do two minus four, and you get equal, negative. equal to ten power two minus four. Very good. You see how I wrote it in chat? That's correct, right? Yeah, that is the answer. Yes, ten. Okay. ten yeah, yeah, that's what I was talking about. Okay, great. Yeah, I'm just using four. What the fuck? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it'll be ten. Okay, now next is. Do I need to discuss more here? We have to apply the rules only here. No, 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 no you can move on. Yeah, you can move to the second okay, second let's move to the next slide. Okay, and here is scientific and engineering notation. Okay, this is this tool is also important. Okay, I have to give you problem from the rules you discuss and we practice some problem from there. Uh, let's see two problem I may give from there. And then from scientific notation and engineering notation, I have to give you problem. Okay, uh, one or two problems. So uh, it's better if you understand now here. Okay, now let's move to the next phase. What's going on in scientific notation and engineering notation? Scientific notation. Okay, scientific notation, uh, you have to read, okay, this part, then you'll understand the thing I'm going to do here very quickly, okay? But now if you read, then it looks complex. It's better, let's uh, discuss with me first, and then if you read, then these are very easy, okay? Scientific notation is based on power of 10. Okay, power of 10. Okay, we'll keep here power of 10. Keep in mind. And then here, the say that they, this part one equal to one and less than ten. So we have to keep the mantisa. Mantisa that is this number. Okay, before the decimal, the number we use. Okay, before the decimal, the number we use. We have to keep is in between one and less than ten. Okay, we cannot write here ten. We have to write. We can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, after that we cannot go. Clear? This is the thing they, they mention here. Okay? Equal to 1 and less than 10. Right, I'm confused. Can you repeat that again? Uh, so the number, uh, scientific notation, we, we, we have this. Uh, this is the scientific notation. Okay? Scientific notation. And here, this is called the power of 10. We already understand, right? In this scientific notation, we have to keep power of 10. Okay? We have to keep power of 10 in the scientific notation. Okay, so power of 10 you have to write like this. And then we have a term, it is called the mantissa. So this term, okay, out the first number, okay, before decimal number, here's a two part. Uh, one is one number before decimal and some number after decimal. Okay, so in scientific notation, we have to keep only one number before decimal. Only one number before decimal. Please note it down. For scientific notation, only one number we have to keep before decimal. And that number in between 1 and less than 10. Okay? Wait, what do you mean 1 and less than 10? What do you mean by that? Uh, this number may be 1. And 1 and 9. Uh, 1 and 10. In, from one, from, from yeah, from one to two. Yeah, it's maybe five, it's maybe six, it's maybe seven, it's maybe eight, it's maybe nine. Let's say it, it, it is how to read 9.296. If it's maybe the 7.296, it's maybe the 2.296, like this. So the before the decimal, we have to keep 
only one number, okay? And that number is equal to one and less than 10. I got you. Okay, oh, so when you practice more problem, then it will be more clear, okay? Yes. Very good. Now, scientific loading form, we we'll write in this format, this format. What is the format? C times C times 10 power n. This said that this scientific notation is based on power of 10. So this is the power of 10, right? And times another term, another term. And it is called mantisa. And this mantisa value in between greater than or equal to 1 to less than 10. Okay, this is the formula. And n is called the exponent we already know. You okay? Yeah. It's very good. If you have still question, then you can ask me. Yeah. So it has to be uh before the nine, right? To make nine point two two nine six. Okay. I, I nah I'm I'm just thinking out loud, I'm sorry. Okay. For this scientific notation, we have the, uh, we have two part, okay? One is power of 10, okay? This part is one, power of 10, okay? Another part is this part, okay? It is called mantisa. And mantisa, well, we can see the decimal, okay? I invented said before decimal we have to keep only one number. It's maybe eight, it's maybe six, it's maybe five. Okay? And other number we have to keep after decimal. Understand? Okay, let's go to the example, then it'll be more clear. Yeah, let's go to the example. Okay. Let's see this example. This example. Uh, let's say for this number. Oh, the, the, yeah, we have the clear, clear, clear explanation for this. Step one, step by step, everything is given, okay? Step one. So the Mantiso will be 9.296? Yeah, 9.296, yes. Will they, will they give us the, the um, for example, like they'll give us a 9.296 and then we would have to solve for it? Uh, they give this number, I could give you a number like this. Okay, so they give it they give it to us. Okay. I have to give number like this and then you have to write like this. All right, all right. You got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So very they good. that's the main point. Okay. Okay, very good now. Right, now uh so when we see this number here, the step one, step one, what they did I didn't identify the number where the decimal point should be placed. Okay, so the mantissa will be greater than or equal to one and less than 10. Greater than or equal to one and less than 10. Okay, mantissa. Okay, in this case, the decimal point must be placed in between nine and two. Okay, decimal place, we have to place in between nine and two. For the scientific notation, we have to write one digit and then we have to place decimal. Okay, always. First you have to write one digit, first digit, first number. We have to write first number, you have to write, and then place decimal. Okay, and then place decimal. So nine is here, then here we have to place decimal. Okay, now after decimal, if you place decimal here, then how many digits do you have right side of the decimal? Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, yeah, right, right side of the decimal, we have the seven, right? This is the level. Yes, right. seven. So it will be ten for seven. So nine point two nine six into ten for seven. This is that Okay. Oh, okay. We, we did not complete. I give you the complete answer. 
but we have the very step. Okay, let's look. So from this step, what do you understand? After the first visit, we have to place the decimal. Okay, and then after decimal, how many digits do we have? Right side of the decimal, we have to count. Okay, from uh, right side of the decimal, how many digits do we have? We have to count. They are counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, seven. So that will be the exponent. Seven is the exponent. Ten for seven. Okay, ten for seven. Now it's it's positive because it's going left. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, because it is positive. It's a number. Okay, a decimal after the number. So if it goes right, it would be nine point two nine six times. 10 to the power of negative 7, right? Uh, yeah, if it is decimal here, then then yeah, 10, 10 for negative 7. Okay, okay. Yeah, we, we, we'll see. So for this one, it is 9.296 into 10 power 7. Okay? You clear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes Great. sense. Great. Now let's look here. Okay. Now step three, step three, the decimal point is shifted to the left by seven plus. Okay, so this is left by seven plus, seven plus, right? We counted here seven plus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's why that will be the exponent. Okay, the base power of 10, 10 for seven. Okay, and that is the mantissa. Mantissa, 9.296 is the mantissa times, times 10 for Seven. This is the answer. Okay. We understand. Yeah. Yes. We all understand, right? Uh -huh. Very good. Okay. This is the scientific notation. Now, who can say what is the answer for this? Uh, let's let's find the answer for this first. Let's find the answer for this first, and then let's fight for this. Professor, you can put the pointer on again? I'm sorry. A pointer. Thank let's you. fight for, okay, fight for this. Yeah, I thought you were talking about number one, that's why. Yeah, yeah one, uh, after this, we are going to discuss one, okay? Let's do this, because it's similar to that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is the answer? So it's 2,500, 2,500. 2.5 into 10 power 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Great. Very good. Oh, who did it? Uh, that's good. Very good. Excellent. Wait, hold on. What are we doing? Number one or two? Number uh, two. I'm saying let's do the two and then for next is one. Because one is fraction, right? The decimal. Started with the decimal. It will be the negative power. So you got it? 2.5, what is the 2.5, look here, 9.2, right? So 2.5, 2 decimal, 5. So 2 decimal, after decimal, how many digits do we have in the right side? 4. 4, so 2.5 uh, so times two, uh, 4. Yeah, okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay, okay. So let's try it's very good, Michael. Okay, okay, six. Oh, he did the other one too. Okay, I have to check. Yeah, one. One, this one is the similar to that one, right? Similar to that one, or similar to this one? Great. And then let's try for this one. I believe that one. Uh, let's go for this one. Which one are you doing now, right? I believe it's 10 to the negative 5. Okay. 10 power, okay. You're right. It's good. Very good. Very good. So this one, this, this one is. Uh, so 5.61. So negative, sorry, 10 to the negative 6 power, right? 5.61? Yes. No. No, no, no. Which number is first? What is first? Who is front? One. One. Professor. One point two five. Whoa, whoa, everyone can do it. Hold on, hold on. 
Well, he's, he's trying to speak. He's trying to speak. Isn't it 16.5 times 10 to the negative 6? Why don't you know? Why don't you know? The value has to be less than 10. It's more than 10. Oh, more it's than always 1.5. Oh, okay. Oh, very good. Yes. Yes, very good. Right. So, so it would be 165. 1.65. And then how many digits? One, two, three, four, five. Negative four, five. 10 point negative five. So it would be 1.65 times instead of power of one, two, three, four, five, negative six. Yeah. So look here we bring this one before decimal right please listen to me yeah. we bring this one before decimal that's why we have to consider this one up to this one okay so one two three four five okay so 1.65 times 10 for negative five that makes more sense now okay you understand good so oh, this way sure. we have to. Uh, yeah, this way we have to practice the uh, scientific notation. Okay, we have to answer. If I give some number, then you have to answer. I have to give you two now uh, two problem. Maybe one for based on the decimal. Okay, decimal and then the number, and other is the other decimal. So if you understand now and if you practice at home, then you're good. You'll get the full score. Okay. But if you do not understand, let's discuss. I'm happy to help. Right, let's do the next one. OK, right? This OK? Yeah. Man. OK, great. Now, may I switch the place? Yeah, I'm talking with my paper. OK, then let's go to the next one. <laughs> next slide. Yeah, what, what do you say? I left my paper by accident. I'm sorry. Sorry, fuckers. Okay. okay, no problem. Now the engineering notation. So <clears throat> we're going to understand now the engineering notation. Okay, engineering notation. Yet it is slightly different than the scientific notation. Okay. What is the difference? We have to Mr. keep. Kali, all... I think we the last one. I'm sorry about that. Sorry? The, la the last question on the last page. Did we answer that one? No, we didn't. Three and four. We didn't. We didn't. We didn't. We I, said, I said you can do, right? Or, or you cannot. Oh, you said we did the last one on our own? Or... Yeah, uh, we, we practiced uh, this. We can do so this too. So I was breaking up. I couldn't hear you. That's why. Oh, you solved? Did you solve? Yeah. Okay, good. Then we say similarly, here is the after decimal, we have to keep one digit, 4.4.98. I'm going to tell you, okay? 4.98. And then to get four, how many digits uh, from four? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, 4.98. Great, very good. Very good. So, this is the scientific notation. I think you all understand. Now I'm confirmed that you understand. Let's say, let's try to understand engineering notation. You said power to negative seven, right? Yeah. Yeah. So engineering notation. To, to, to understand engineering notation, what do you have to do? What is the, here is some different, okay? In the scientific notation, Multiple of three, four always, four always multiple of three. Yeah, thousand, less than thousand. Okay, and the scientific, scientific, scientific was one, two, nine, right? Less than ten. One, two, less than ten. But here is one, two, less than thousand. Okay, and then power always, power of ten always. Multiple of three. Okay, so like the, the multiple of three means that the three, six, 
9, 12, 15, 22, 18, 21, like this. But negative 3, negative uh, 6, negative 9, negative 12, and so on. Okay? All right, so I'm confused. Right, I'm not going to I'm confused. So the exponent is always going to be a power of 3. So like, let's say, three, yeah, like you just said 369. So it's going to be like one of those. Yeah, power of 3. Yeah, power multiple of, multiple of 3. Multiple of 3 means 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Like, and then negative also, negative 3. Negative. Yeah. All right, thanks, thanks, Dr. Kazi. OK. No problem. Now you, we understand, right? First, first you understand what is the difference between scientific and engineering. So scientific, scientific can it's going to be yeah. till 10, and then engineering is going to be till 1,000. Yes. And scientific is any power. Power maybe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, any power. But in engineering, power is the multiple of 3. Right? Great. It's very good. Now let's go to the. Yeah, I keep that in the same paragraph. Okay. The same problem we are going to write, same number we are going to write as engineering notation. Okay, engineering notation. So okay. engineering, right? Yeah, this is engineering notation for the same number. Then it will help us to clear more about scientific and engineering. Right? So in the notation, they said you have to keep power as three, right? Power is one, two, three. Okay, it's give us power of three, right? 10 power mm -hmm. three. But if we take only these three zeros, if we take only these three zeros, then we have left here 92,960, right? And 97, more than thousand, so it's not quite right. Yeah, so, I got you now. It looks more easier. To yeah. Then what do you have to do? We have to increase another three, another three digit. Okay. One, two, three. Another three digit we have to interest Look here. Here's the red and blue. So two color. Here's the first three. And when we select the first three, then we see that the mantis says more than thousand. Okay. So more than thousand does not match with our rule. So, Professor, um, it will, for engineering, it will always be like to the power of three or multiples of three? Multiples of three, yes. Okay. It's maybe three, it's maybe six, it's maybe nine, okay? So, here we found when it took, when it take three zeros, power okay. of three, then here's the number is more than greater than thousand, right? But number must be less than thousand, okay? less than 1,000. That is why what do you have to do? We have to take another three number, okay? Another three. One, two, three, okay? Look here, another three, one, oh, two, okay. three, right. okay? And so, then we found it is six, right? Six. So, so be, this, is the, uh, uh, this is the multiple of three, right? Yeah, that's the power of three, okay, and then you bring so, it another three times. Yeah. Yes. So now the answer is 92.96 into 10 power 6. So 92.96 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3. So how many is it after point? Six, 10 per six. Okay. So it'd be the power of six. Yes, 10 per six. Okay. You all okay? Very good. 10.6 or 10 to the power of six? 10 to the power, okay, 10 exponent six. 10 per okay. six, for sure we say. Good. Now let's move to the next slide. And there is the answer. Okay, 92.96 into 10 per six. Okay, yeah, this I understand. Very good.
Now, try to understand this. Okay. This problem we solve for the scientific notation. Now let's try to solve it for the engineering notation. This we solve for the scientific. Now let's solve for the engineering. It's your, it's your job. Okay. Follow this instruction. Follow this. Yeah. Do it. Okay. Do it. Power always. Uh, not power. Not always six. Power always multiple of six. Okay. Yes. Let's solve it. Which one are we doing? Number uh, one and two. And rest two. Two later, yes. One and two now. Zero. One. Hey, what a day. 16.5 and 10 four. That's OK. Four. Yeah. So now it's engineering, so it could be over time. All right. 16.5 into 10 power. One, two, three, four, five, six. Negative six. Good. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, next one. A negative, negative six. Write the correct answer. Oh, yeah, it's very good. Yes. Right. Right is negative. Oh, you're good. You're understanding quickly. Very good. Yeah, my fault because I, I try, man. I try. Yeah. Okay. So, you are doing what? 25? Yes. 25 into 10 for two. Very good. Because if we take this 3 0, 3 0 means 10 for 3. And then after we have only 25, 25 is less than 1000, right? So we can keep this value. So 25 into 10 for 3. Hey, great. Very good. Okay. In 17. Okay. Good. Try at home this too, right? Later? Or are you going to do it now? Uh, let's do it now. Let's do it now. We're here, right? Let's just do what it now. Do it now. Okay. Yeah, let's bang it out. Bang it out. All right, let's bang it out. Very good. He's counting very good. One, two, three, four, five, six, one point seven, one point seven into ten six. Uh, please do just for one minute, okay? Please do. Okay, yeah, I'm confused. Why is it why is uh the second one not two point five? Huh? Because it's, it's engineering, that's why, so it goes to a thousand. Scientific engineering. Yeah. Multiple of multiple of three. That's why you have to look for the power always three now like this. Okay? To get the to make power as multiple of three, that's why we can keep many different <laughs> as Mantisa. Okay? Good. Yes, very good. Okay. What is this? You did for this one, right? Okay, negative power. So wait, how's it? How's it? One point seven. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. Six here, six. Right. Six, yeah. negative, negative six, right? Okay. So, what do you write here? Four ninety-eight. Yes. Four okay. ninety-eight. So nine, that's nine spaces. Nine. Yes. So you come here after the last one, right? So it is nine negative nine. 
So when there's a so when there's an extra zero, you count another three spaces, right? Sorry. So like, so you get your first three, right? Your first three zeros, and then you have that extra zero, right? You still count another three, right? Yeah. So we have okay. three. Okay, my student, look at. You count first three, and after count first three, we count this as less than one. But less than one should not be in our rule, okay? And then let's continue another three. One, two, three. And then we found yes. Okay, this number, okay, this number is again less than one. Okay, yeah, less I, was, than one. I was talking about number two. That's right. Another, another three count. Okay, and then we found that yes, we can keep this 498 times 10 power negative nine. First, I was talking about number three, but I, yeah, I see what you're saying. Because I was confused how you got 1.7, but I see that like when you count the three and then you count another three, it gives you oh, more points. Oh, 1.7, this one you're saying, okay. This, yeah, one, yeah. this one is, look, 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 here. So let's count here, how many is it? One, two, so two three. Okay, it's give us one, th the 10 for three, right? Yeah, and it's over 1700, so you would oh, have to I mean, count. Seven more than 1000, right? Yeah, so you have to count another three. Yeah, we have to keep, very good. We have to count another okay. three. One, two, three. Okay, so we found here one point seven. Okay, because yeah, yeah, I can show you that's well. After one, we found six digit, right? After one, we found six digit. That's why one point seven. Okay. Yeah, I understand now. Yeah, uh, up to uh, uh, here. After here is our decimal. And then here is the six digit, so one point seven into ten point six. And it's the same thing for the bottom one. So okay. Yes. It's very. Very good. Now this one. Prefix. Okay. Here we have to understand this thing. Oh yeah, my brother said this is big right here. Yeah. But don't worry about this number. Don't worry about this. Okay. We, if you know this power, then we can understand after one year is 18 zero. If we count here, 18 zero. If we understand this one, after one with 15 zero, 12 zero, nine zeros like this. So, Eza, okay? Eza, Beta, Terra. You know, hard disk is terabyte, you are saying terabyte? Yeah, give mm -hmm. it by this, okay? Yeah, these are from there. So here is Terra, Giga, Mega, Kilo, Milli, Milli, Micro, Nano, Pico, Femto, Auto. So Auto is the smallest one. Very, 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 very small. And Isa is the biggest okay very very big that is top okay highest and that is the lowest okay lowest. So how, that's what yeah i think it's using examples uh yeah, we have some example we have to uh, solve this that's why first you have to understand this meaning okay so kilo means thousand mm -hmm. okay mega means million and giga means billion okay and then terra means thousand billion it's true okay. beta means yeah trillion and then beta means thousand trillion and then ESA means thousand thousand trillion it's a very big number scientists still they did not find any number bigger than this number okay so we are now in this platform. We are hard disks, we are using terabyte. Okay, we are now here. Okay, after that we have two more. But mostly still we are using the gigabyte. Right? Yes. Yeah, we said you got cut off, did you say? Yeah, beta. Yes.
yeah, so in the uh, in the storage, they're thinking about the data, okay? Because storage, you know, the, the, with all the data they collect and they have to keep, okay? Okay, then, uh, now here's the milli, milli we understand, smallest, uh, it's milli, milli, milli means 1,000, 1,000 millimeter equal to one meter, you know? 1,000 millimeter equal to one meter. 1,000 millivolt equal to one volt. 1,000 milliampere equal to one ampere. Okay, milli is too small. It's related with the one divided by 1,000. Okay, and micro, okay, micro. We are saying the micrometer, microscope. Okay, micro, micro is 10 point negative six. Okay, 10 point negative six. Micro. And the nano, nano is 10 point negative nine. Okay, and then pico, pico is 10 point negative 12, pico farad. You can see there is in our lab, we have to handle the device. Okay, we have to handle capacitor. These are the pico farad, micro farad, nano farad. Okay, like this. Okay, are we gonna and test it on that? In the lab, we have to use some device. Okay, capacitor. This capacitor is in micro farad. Okay, nano, pico. Uh, we don't need to use any software for this. Uh, we have to uh, mathematically and theoretically, uh, theoretical knowledge will bring in mathematics in all that. Okay, in principle. Okay, so uh, this, if we want to use any uh, software, we can use the software too, but we don't need. Okay. And really means. Uh, it's very small and much small, um, much, much small is micro and much small is nano, pico, femto, auto. Okay, auto is the smallest. Look. Sorry. Oh, guys. oh, someone talking. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, so let's avoid, let's avoid the noise, but sometimes maybe it's happened, but we should try. Uh, Professor Nigel, you just cut off. I can't hear you. Okay. Oh, my bad, sir. Oh, guys, guys, language guys, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Let's continue lesson, guys. Come on. Okay. Listen, my student, listen. Let's try to understand this. We started with the positive 18 and we end with 10 for negative 18. Okay. And this sequence, as an engineer, we have to keep in mind. Okay. Let's read it a few times and try to understand the difference. Look here. Here's power is three difference, three difference, three difference, three difference, three difference, three difference. Similarly, three, 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 right? Four of three. So let's read and try to understand the symbol meaning because you have to, in the, when you are going to solve the problem, they will not give, they will not give like the giga, this word. They will give the letters? Yeah, they will give you the only the symbol, G. Then we have to understand, oh, it is, it is giga, right? They'll give us the P. Then we have to understand it is terra, right? They'll give us the micro symbol. So we have to understand, oh, it's micro. Okay, that's why let's try to introduce with this symbol. Okay, okay. Uh, Professor Kazi. Yeah. So other than the engineering, this is, there's no other prefixes. So this is the only one that they use for prefixes. The what is this on mechanical, right? Am I bugging? Oh, prefix. Yeah, prefix. Uh, we have the prefix and then the unit. Okay. Uh, engineering. Unit, engineering. Yeah. Uh, unit. The milli. Okay. We have the. Let's say we have the. Meter M, okay. Meter M, it's one in it. and we have the millimeter. Milli means milli is prefix. Milli is prefix. Right? In that case, milli we have to write ten for negative three. Okay, M lowercase M and uppercase M. Okay, millimeter. Okay, M M. Yeah. 
robots talking. Sounds very robotic. Okay, good. Now we have the we have the many uh, we have this we have to practice some problem. Then uh, before that you cannot understand, right? So we have to solve. But before going to solve the problem, let's introduce with the symbol. Read, okay? Introduce with the symbol. So then, the small ones you use lowercase, right? What kind of letters? Is that a U? Is it something like attached to that? It looks like there's something attached to the U for micro. What is that? Is that like a special U? Yeah, it's a this, special. It is a, it's the it's the uh, Latin symbol for micro. Okay. Oh, Latin. I don't know. Latin. Latin. Yes. So it's a different symbol. The symbol name is called micro. Micro. Okay, because we already have we already have lowercase m, right? So if you write another m, then it's, it will mix up, right? So that's why the micro symbol. Micro. It's like upside, it's like upside down n, right? Put like a like a little stick on it. Yeah, like, yeah, like so, cursive m. Yeah. All right, that makes sense. All right. Sounds, sounds pretty good. <laughs> Professor Kazi. This is a beauty right here. Hello. I think you need to go get water. Like last time. My throat, my throat is dry right now. All this, all the participation points is killing me right now. Hey man, you're doing a great job. Can't lie. I agree. Thanks, man. <laughs> Is Professor still here or? I think he went to get something. All right. He wants to go take a bogey break. I was going to submit this. On Blackboard, uh, the course is he's going to put a like a assignment. So he's going to he's going to ask you to send it back to him. You say you're gonna do it after the class. Uh, but we don't have to do this one that he's doing as a sample. No, no, you have to do this one. This whole lab, you have to do it and then resubmit it. Just scan or just scan your paper or whatever and just submit it like that. Or just make sure you put your name in the attachment file. Yeah. Didn't he say he was also gonna do a, a web work included as well? I oh, he, he can, like, I hear nothing about that, so I'm not even gonna bring it up. To be honest, yeah, for real. I'm just gonna do a lab, and that's that's about it, you know. Yeah, I'm just I, got, like, I also yeah. got this algebra homework due on Saturday, I guess, like two pages. So. Damn, I got three questions, that's all I got. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I got a whole I got, essay like, with two questions. I have to show work, too. I gotta show all that work. I showed my work. <laughs> nah, bro. So, can you just send this PDF to him in a file in Blackboard? Yeah, I think I could do that. I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm going to just do that call it a day. Did you guys see any need to actually send anything in this class? Well, we don't have to leave yet. Oh, you want to leave? No. Uh, no, no. no, no. We still have time to... Uh, yeah, class to is still going. Yeah. It's until 8.30, guys. Yeah, yeah. So why are they leaving? Why are you guys leaving? Why are they leaving? Professor, I don't know why. No, they were wondering what time we're leaving. Okay, no, no, no. We have the limit, work limit. After we complete this work, then we can leave. Okay? But no, we have to some work. Bang out the whole lab with you. Yeah, let's bang it out right now. I got nothing after this, anyways. Sorry? Yeah, I got, I got home. Same. For me. I don't know about you guys. Professor, so you got a class after this? Sorry? I said, do you have a class after this? Like another class you have to teach? No, no, no. I'm fine. Oh, so can we just do the lab together? Yeah, yeah. 
which which lab the lab we're this doing one. right now yeah yeah let's continue on yes yeah we'll, we'll chill after this you know we are doing our lab continue it okay uh, so this, okay let's understand this part what do you say sorry what, did you say anything no no, no. no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's try to run this one. So, nine point two, no, sorry, ninety two point nine six into ten for six miles. Okay, mile for short we write M I. And ten for six, what is this called? That's gonna be uh, mega. Mega, good. So M mile. Okay. Oh, so put a capital. in right. that case, we don't need to use this one. If you write the symbol, then it's fine. Okay. Oh, uh, I, I bet. Other engineer will understand. Okay. Your colleague will understand. Okay. I will understand like that. All right. All right. So replace, replace 10 for 6 with prefix symbol M. M represent 10 for 6. That's why I'm saying this. Let's read several times. This is the M is the 10 for 6. Okay. Very good. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I understand now. So if we write that on the homework or on any test, we'll get real, real good points out of it. It will, won't be wrong. Sorry, if you? If we write like the prefix, are we gonna, we're gonna get the point right, right? You have to write this part. Yeah, yeah, I know, I'm, I'm, saying, I'm saying for the N, instead of writing 10 to the six, we could write M, capital M from and then miles will be fine yeah it's fine okay okay if you write the m m miles that's why we are learning this thing so okay if I say, say it's like um 10 to the third right it would be 92.96 k miles yes very good oh, great you got, you got it good, well, then that's good. so if it is 10 for 2 then k if it is 10 for 9 then g right like this okay so this part is done now let's move to the next slide so similarly you have to practice this one okay you have to practice this one here what's going on uh here is the look quantity in engineering notation okay quantity in prefix notation this is engineering notation and prefix notation so 10.9 we already know 9 10.9 means g right Okay, that's why you have to practice this chart and previous chart several times. Okay, then we have to be at square. Okay, so we should know the uh, chart by heart, right? Yeah, just, just to read several times, then it's fine. Okay. We don't need to memorize anything from there. No, we just need to know the symbols and uh, the powers of ten. All right. So, look here, Q. Q. You said the K. K, right? Okay. Nine times ten for zero. Anything for zero is called one, right? Anything for zero is called one. Nine times one is nine. V is volt. Nine volt. Are you going to access to to know the difference on a test? Difference between prefix mm -hmm. notation and engineering. Yeah, we we have to do some problem next. Okay, based okay. on this based on this concept, we have some problem here. Okay, so we understand ten for negative twelve is called pico 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 farad. I I told you pico farad. Yeah, it's a capacitor unit. Okay, pico farad. Right. And then second nano second is the nano is the time nano second second s for time, and Henry, Henry for the inductance. Okay, inductor. We have another device we have to use that is called inductor. Inductor unit is called Henry. Henry. Okay, negative six, then micro. Negative six, micro, right? Yeah. Negative three, milli. Negative three, milli. Okay. Oh, almost on that. Okay. So this thing we have to just practice a few times. Look here. Now let's do it. This example, look here. The problem is like this. Okay, I have to give you something like this. 
and then you have to write in engineering form. Okay, and then you found here, what is this? That's an engineering form, that's gonna be K. K, very good, 10 for three, okay. So you have to write here, K, wow. So yeah. Good perfect, right? Good. That's what that means. Oh, yeah. so, uh, Thank you. Good. Very good. Now let's look at the next one. This one. That's going to be a uh, demo. I forgot that one already. Oh. Micro? Micro? Yes, yeah, so it's, a, it's a micro. Very good. Micro. 10 for negative 6 minutes micro. Very yes. good. Yes. One second. Wonderful. No seconds, so, yes. First, you have to write in engineering notation. And then convert to prefix notation. That's it. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I keep the I keep the prefixes. Um, uh, on the lab we would have to write it like that too. Yeah, I have to give you some problem like this. You have to solve, I guess. Okay. But everything related to it, like here, here is the number. Is, number is like this, okay? My number may be the zero point zero zero five four one. Okay. So change and one number. Here's 23,000, my number maybe the 46,000, like this. Okay, that's why if you understand this, you can answer anything that I'm going to give an exam. Yes, I love exams. Now, this is the thing. Let's solve this. Only one, solve it now, and then move to the next place. No. If you need break, five minutes break, or for drinks break, you can, uh, yeah. I can do it. Uh, I'll be right back, I'm about to take a bogey break. <sighs> Yeah, I have to keep, I, I, I have to keep, okay, then uh, I have to keep some break, okay? Then uh, it's long time, if you continue, then your brain will not properly work. Yeah, my brain's not properly working right now, yes, Nick. Yeah, understand late and it takes more time then. So, uh, uh, after first hour, one hour, we have the 15 minutes break, keep in mind, okay? And uh, some of the lecture I'm going to give you asynchronous. Asynchronous means that I have to prepare the lecture and give the lecture and upload in the Blackboard. Video, you have to watch the video like the YouTube. And then you have to uh, uh, understand and you have to complete your work and submit in Blackboard like this. Professor. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, my fault. Oh, no, I just had a question for uh, number two. Uh, what does CM stand for? Next ohms. Cauliflower. Ohm. Ohm. Okay, centimeter. Ohm centimeter. Oh, okay, thanks. So, Professor, it would be like 562 to the power, I mean, times oh. power 18. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, we found the 15. Phone, I don't want to talk to you right now. 15, we found the 15, okay? 562, okay, 562 times. Oh, so then we write, we write right before. 10 the, 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 two times yeah. 10 to the power of 15, which equals P. Uh, 10 to 15 is not P. Uh, beta, beta, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Very good, Peter, 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 Peter. Okay, yes. Ten for fifteen is the pattern. P, E, V, right? Like this. Good. Also, okay, and then we would write um, five sixty-two P E V. Yeah, P V. Beta electrobolt, yes. Okay, great job, great job. So it'd be five sixty-two P E V. Okay. Do we have to write out the whole thing on the lab, or we just we could just write the answer? Uh, you have to do it the way uh, we have we prepare. Write like that whole thing. Like yeah. Write like Ten to the power of fifteen. Listen, uh, what I'm saying. Listen. So you don't need to do all the thing, all the work together in one day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If I don't do it now, I'm not going to do it later, trust me. Yeah, let, let's say that today you do uh, one foot and tomorrow one foot like this. 
then you will understand you can keep mind but if you can do in one sitting then it's very good but one sitting uh, you know that sometimes we lose our passion yeah i pretty much sit down all day so yeah, yeah. that's why i'm giving you time one week in one week you have to submit okay is it okay no, no, no. Professor? Yes. Yes. Um, where can we find the lab? Is it going to be in Blackboard? Yeah, in the Blackboard content, I already uploaded this one. Okay. Okay. Always okay. Like, keep in mind, always I'll upload before your class. Okay? If I sometimes forget, because you are here, you will forget. So then just send it one gentleman. Hey, professor, you did not upload our lecture, no? lab, lab note. Okay, then I can understand, I can upload. But usually I, I never call it. Okay? No problem. Thank you. Yeah. Because it's a teamwork. We are a team. We are a team, you're right. Yes. Dreamwork so makes the dream work. Yeah. All right. Let, let's move to the next slide. Next slide. Oh, here you have to write this uh, previous problem answer. Okay. All right. I'm going to make it out right now. Boom, boom, boom. Convert between prefix. Convert between prefix. It's another part. Okay. Convert one to other form. Okay. Huh? Milli to nano. Milli second to nano second. Yeah, that's hard. I don't know. That's, no, that's not hard. But just you have to keep in mind the relation. Milli to nano, how many steps? Oh, it's six more, six more. So negative six, six more. Six more, that's not just six more. That's it. Okay? Uh, we'll have to keep it five steps. Okay, let's go, go which step I'm going to show you so that you can read at home and understand quickly. So this step. That's why I told to read. So look here, milli, milli to nano, right? Nano. Sure. And micro to nano is another three. That is why it's six, right? Yeah. First, how do you write micro on the computer? Micro is new. We have a symbol, new. <laughs> you can copy and paste it here. Oh, copy and paste it? OK. Yeah, you can copy symbol from the symbol and paste it here. No that's, problem. That's plagiarism. <laughs> I'm crying. Or you can copy from here and then paste over there. Oh, well, let me copy and paste. You know, I'm going to do a micro. Oh, we, we are in the space now, right? Yeah, we're all in this oh. together. We get the micro hey. symbol up on Google, right? And then... So, these are looked right. Here's the six difference we found. So, it is 10 for negative nine seconds, 10 for negative nine seconds, and 10 for negative nine represent nano, NS. Okay? Very good. Similarly, you have to solve this. Picofarad to microfarad, pico to micro. Micro is negative six. Right? Would it be negative six or positive six? No, Pico is negative, both negative here. It's negative 12, it's negative six. So it's positive six, right? No, no, no. Uh, we are moving from, let's look, what are we doing? Pico to micro. We are moving from small to big. Okay, small to big means division, right? Small to bigness division. So here the pico is 10 for negative 12. And it's give that it cuts the put the micro it cut the six. Okay, 10 for negative six and 10 for negative six with this. Okay, if we keep with this because it we have to write in the uh 10 for negative six. So one, two, three, four, five. So 0 0.0, 0 2, 3, 5 microfarads. This got me confused. Can you, can you like write it out? I'm confused here. We're still we're still in um engineering, right? Like the yeah. no no we're just, we're just converting now. Okay, we're, oh. we're converting. Okay, we're converting. Okay, converting. Okay, converting. Okay, converting. Okay, converting. Okay, converting. Okay, converting. 
Oh, my fault. Yeah, Mr. Uh, professor. P professor. Yes. Yeah, he like that. I don't know. Oh, he like that. Uh, oh, how are you? Are you supposed to? Are you supposed to write it? You got me confused here. This is the micro, right? And this yeah, is the yeah, pico. Pico, pico, pico micro. Okay. Oh, so we would, we would use that sign to figure out uh, what it has to convert into. Okay. Yeah. So we are moving from big to small or small to big? Big to small because it's micro. So with micro, it would be negative no, six. Small to big. Small to big. Big. We're moving from small to big because yeah. it's a bigger negative number. Yeah, small yeah, to big. Right. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm learning the prefix today, man. I'm good, man. I'm good. <laughs> so we are moving from small to big. And how many steps? Pico and micro, how many steps? All right, so if you, all right, how, do you, how do you write it out then? Uh, that's, that's all I'm asking, how do you write it out? Like, oh, right here it, in this section right here. Right here, like this. Right here. Okay, right. Uh, to follow accordingly. I think the problem we, uh, we sit here. Sorry, can you repeat that? Follow accordingly. The problem we have here. Okay, this is the pico, pico, and the micro, right? Like right for pico, pico is 10 for 12. Okay, and 10 for 12, and then convert to micro, it is convert to 10 for 6, negative 6. I'm still lost too. Yeah, you said pico, pico, micro, and pico. I know this. Pico is negative 12, micro is negative 6. So, how do you get from negative 12 to negative 6? Because he's, he's converting it with the sign. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you just write two three five zero zero UF. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't understand how you to write it out too. I just realized yeah. what you're saying. You have me messed up here. This is called conversion. Conversion means that they convert one form to other form prefix. Okay, one prefix to other prefix. Yeah, we understand that. We're just trying to figure uh, figure out how to write it out. How to write it out? Yeah. <laughs> Answer the actual answer. How do you write like it? The actual answer. You have to, you have to write here the micro is we are moving from small to big, right? Small to big. Right. Have, listen, what I'm saying. For the small to big, we have the division. Okay, division. And what is the difference from pico to micro? How many zero? Six zero. Six right? Zero, right? From, from the chart. Okay, from the chart. So we have to divide by six zeros. If we divide this term by six zero, one, uh, this uh, this number is two, and then three, and then the five, okay, and then zero, and then another zero, right? Yeah. If we divide this by ten for six, if we divide by ten for six, right? Six zero means ten for six. Ten for Six. Okay, ten for six. Then what six zeros after that? Yeah. So, right, what, so what, after, what, after the two zeros, there's six more zeros, right? Yes. Right. After then, after after one, this one, this one is this part two three five zero zero. Okay, divided by ten for six. Wait, who's writing that? Whoever's writing that, could you make it clear? This is the difference between peak one, peak one micro. Okay, peak one micro, we have the chart there. Let's go, chart. So, how do you, oh, what the? Oh, what happened? Okay, we have the chart here. Look here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I see, I see it. Chart is in, it says in chart, and it says it's chart, yeah. Pickle and micro. I see it. Look here, pico, right? Pico is 10 for 12, and micro is 10 for 6. What is the difference? 6. 6, okay? 6 is the difference, so negative 6. So that's why 10 for 6, we are dividing. And then if we divide, when, uh, we are dividing because we are moving from small to big. When we move from small to big, then divide. And when we move from big to small, then multiply. Okay, so, so, so just give you 1,000 difference, right? 
this give you 1000 difference and it's give you another 1000 difference so 1000 times 1000 is 10 power 6 so how do you write that down in the answer is what i'm asking okay now let's go to the answer page Like why not? Once I leave, I'm just going to forget everything. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Oh, you delete. Okay. So you have to divide this number by 10 power 6. So you're dividing it. So what's the answer? So like, how do you write the answer? The like? answer is uh, if you divide it by 6, how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. 5 and then 0. Point, point, zero, and then this number two, thirty, thirty, five. Okay, this is the answer. Oh uh, yes, good. Zero yeah, point I zero. Got, I, I got the answer. Though. I'm asking. Yeah. How we got this answer? What I said. We are moving from small to big. Small to big means we have to divide. Divide by what? Their difference. Oh, what is the you're difference? Moving, oh, you're moving back six yeah. spaces. I'm yeah. confusing myself right. for no reason. <laughs> no problem. So what is the difference between Pico and Micro? Then for six. Back. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so it would be another, it would be zero. Okay, okay, I see. I see so, what you're doing right now. That's, that's what I was confused on. I thought, you're like saying you have to divide, so I thought you had to put like a division like number in there. No, no problem because we have to. We have first time we are learning. We have to continue. So no problem. Yeah, I'm so sure, the number we have, we have to look at this prefix. This prefix is small or big. If it is small, small to big, then we have to divide. If it is big to small, then we have to multiply. That's it. Now that would be our final answer, or we would have to put a. Yeah, that, is the, that is the final answer. That's it. Nothing yes. else. Yeah, zero point zero. Zero point zero. 0 0.0 to, to, to 35. This answer. All right, so, so it always has to be the interval of three, right? So if you're going. All right. Zero and then ferret. Okay, this is that. All right, Professor Kazi. Yes, sure. All right, for the second question, so we're converting it from volts to millivolts. What is that? Millivolts, right? Am I bugging? No, millivolts. Yeah. Here's the bolt, the set bolt, okay? Bolt to millivolt. All right. So bolt then, to bolt. So which is big? Bolt is big, right? Yeah, bolt is bolt is really big. So we are moving from big to small. All right. Okay. So you're ne you're negative three, right? So then you're no, to, no. You're Listen, we are moving from big to small, right? Big to small. Big to small means we have to multiply. Multiply yeah. by difference between bolt and millivolt. What is the difference? One thousand. Right. Yeah. One thousand millivolt equal to one bolt. Right? Yeah. In the chart, in the chart we have, okay, in the chart, that's why I said that they please read a few minutes, but we didn't read. But anyway, you'll read at home, I believe. Wait, hold on, where's the bolts? I don't see it. Yeah, I'll see bolts in there. I think it's on the other one. Oh, it's an other one, right? This one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there you go. No, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. I okay. Didn't so here we have to. No, so all, all it's difficult to keep all of the relation because you know that we can make many many relation. Okay, but here is some basic we have to understand. This is the volt, or they didn't give the milli, but we know the relation between milli and volt. Milli is milli means thousand. Okay, right. thousand. So this yeah. one's let's apply here. <clears throat> So how many we would move um nine right since it's yeah, yeah volt to millivolt that is you have to write this number volt to millivolt what is the difference one thousand right one thousand yeah. just multiply it by one thousand that's it all right i'm gonna try it on the calculator real quick zero point one one eight two seven times a thousand yes Get my calculator coming tomorrow. Don't worry about it. You get 118.27. Yeah, yes. If okay, you multiply, it's right? only more than three 118.27 right? millivolt. Uh, 
millibolt, yes. I guess in millibolt, it's only three spots. You move it to, to the right. Yeah. So if you multiply it by 1,000, then three digit will go before the decimal because of three zero, right? 1,018.27 millibolt. Now, what do you say? You said 1,018? 1, 1,118. Oh, okay. millivolt. I got you. Thank you. So similarly, you have to solve this. So it's going to be written like this. I think from the theory class, they will give you more. Uh, they, 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 uh, because in the theory class, you will get many relation that will help us to understand this quickly. Yeah, I want a relationship. Okay. So that's the answer right there. That's how you write it. Yeah. Good. Very good. Actually, actually, uh, uh, lab class is based on the theory class. Okay. So if we are, uh, if we don't have the sufficient knowledge in from the theory that uh, I have to explain many things. Okay. Then maybe you will think, oh, why Dr. Kaiser say many things? But our job, goal, but our goal to understand. So we move, we move, uh, move the decimal. Right? Oh, milli to micro. Hey, let's solve this one. Okay, small Wait, you, move the, you move the, the point three to the right, right? Since it's not ten. Because if you multiply this, then we can see this. Here is the point. Okay, here points come. Because we are using three zero. Three zero for the three zero, three digit will go to the left left side of the decimal. Okay. And the two two digit left that that is after decimal and then millivolt. That's it. No, it's not my number three. And number three is uh milli two micro, which is big. The bigger one is gonna be my uh, milli micro. Milli. So we are going from milli to micro, and what? How? What is the difference, milli and micro? It's going to be three. One thousand, right? One thousand. Just multiply again. One thousand, like this, like. Wait, how you? How you get one thousand million? Know, yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to figure oh, out. Million? That's thousand. Million micro difference is one thousand. That's why I said read right, this chart. Oh, because it's three zeros. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. Saying, bro. No problem. Wow, no problem. wow, wow. Yeah, no problem. that's crazy. Wow. No Look here. Because the milli has three zeros in it, right? Milli and micro, three zero difference, right? Oh, so it, oh, okay, okay. So say, let's say, um, let's use nano and milli. It would be um. It would be. Nano thousand. Thousand. Okay. Nano would be thousand thousand, right? So it'd be it would be would multiply it by a hundred thousand, right? Right. Okay. Okay. Now yeah, thousand thousand, not hundred thousand, thousand thousand. Micro, million, nano. Two thousand. Here is the one thousand difference. Here is another one thousand difference. So thousand, thousand. So we do, what would we write in the calculator? Calculator. You have to write that number and then multiply and then one thousand again. Six zero one six zero. Okay. Let's look here. Three to nine. What is the difference? Six. Three to six. six. So one and then six zero. Okay, I'm asking another question to you. Milli to femto. What is the difference? 12. 12. 1 and then 12, 0. That's it. Okay, good. Got it. Very good. Thank you. So we would write that 12, we would write all 12 zeros in it and then multiply it by whatever number. Okay. Yes, exactly. I don't understand what you mean by like when you said thousand. Yeah, that's what I, mean. I got confused on that. That's why I said a hundred thousand because it's six yeah, zeros. Thousand. Right. Okay, I'm writing one algorithm here. Please put it down. Oh no. Big. Okay, big. And then to small. So big to small. If you move big to small, oh, it's, 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 if you move when you move big to small. That means to multiply. We have to multiply. Okay, we have to multiply by number of step. If one step thousand, if two step, then 
thousand thousand. If three step, then thousand 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 like this. Okay. And why do we move from? So it's big to small. So you multiply, multiply. multiply. So you move the decimal to the left, right? Yeah. And big to small. Visible. No, don't don't worry, about, don't worry about decimal. Number we have just multiplied the thousand. What we get through the calculator, just place it here. That's it. Okay, okay. And similarly, multiply it by thousand. The number you get this the answer. Okay. Okay, I guess you know. And when small to big, then it's divide. Dividing, you're dividing, yeah. Divide by thousand. So let's okay. let's go number three. All right, zero point zero three seven. Okay, then we have to divide okay this is algorithm this algorithm is universal okay for any class okay i'm giving you please keep note it down okay so big to small multiply small to big divide professor yes so whatever we don't finish in class today, are we gonna like pick that up on a different week or no? To uh, today, uh, today, let's keep up to this, okay? Yeah. Complete up to this. Uh, because I almost done, just only a few things left that I have to tell you. Okay, uh, PEMDAS I have to teach you, okay? And then, uh, I'll not take long time in every class, okay? I'll give you the lecture, you will understand quickly, you have to note it down, and you know that the is practical. Practical means we have to study more, okay? And then you'll understand from me in class, and then you have to write and send, take time, long time at your home, and then you submit, okay? It's very good, but first few classes we have to discuss more because we have, to, we have to understand many things, that's why. Now, order of operation is another part, and you're familiar with this PEMDAS, right, before? Parenthesis, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, right? Order of, order of operation, while you are going to some, some, solve some problem, then we have to maintain this order, clear? Good. If so, then let's look this example. This is the example. Okay, example. This two number inside the parenthesis, right? You do those first. So you're going to do two negative, 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 negative six. Two, negative six. Good. Very good. Okay, negative six. And then look to multiply. Uh, keep this negative six. Okay. And then which one do we have to do? So is there no, there's no exponents. You got to do multiple multiplication so we have to multiply with the six three negative six would be negative 18. negative 18 divided by six okay and then we have the division right division now we have to divide 18 by six that is three right very good and then what's that thing what we, we have the addition right addition which we have to add <laughs> You have to add three, a negative three plus a two. Two. So it gives us a negative one, negative one, negative one, negative, negative ten. Okay. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Yes. I'm gonna go. Um, thank, thank you very much for class. Okay. Have a nice day, sir. Okay, hey, you have uh, ten minutes left. Yeah, please complete all of the work. Okay. It's this is a very interesting. Mm -hmm. thing. Wait. Uh, I do have a question. Do you want it submitted? Give it into like blackboard or do you want it to send it by regular email uh yeah, regular, i i'm going to upload this lab in our assignment section okay and you will complete over there and you will upload over there then i can keep everything together in one place okay but you know that they, if you send the email then difference between different time is like a great problem okay so okay uh, but in case if any student miss uh, because of some important reason, in that case, that is the exception, okay? So the way it feel better, I have no problem. I can collect through the email also, okay? Also, I can collect from the Blackboard. But in your case, it's better if you submit everything for the Blackboard, then you can see all of your stuff in the one place in Blackboard.
All right. Okay. Thank so you, thank you, thank you so much. So this this thing okay, just order of operation. Up to up to this, you must have to complete and submit. Okay, next class. And so the next class, I'll see. Yeah, uh, let's keep up to this. Okay. Okay. What the hell is this? These are oh, this operation solving equation will be in the next class. Okay. From one point six, we'll do practice in the next class. Before all, you have to practice one point five everything. So okay. You have to complete, yeah. the, you have to this on round two. Sorry. You have to complete the the on solving for unknown variables. I haven't done that since like freshman year high school. Are you, can can you solve this? No, honestly, no, I can't. Okay, then I have to explain this one. Okay, that's why I'm saying the topic we discussed up to today. You have to complete the up to that part and. Oh, and submit to me, okay? I got you. After that part, I give you, I give you, uh, level one everything, but the topic we complete, we understand only that part. You have to please submit. I'll not tell you everything because it's not wise. I have to discuss with the other all topic, and then I have to tell you submit the rest part. Okay? I'm not gonna lie, we repeat. I'm okay. not gonna do. Okay. So, like when I get done, I get done. I'm not gonna, but I'm gonna try my best. Okay. Yeah, please. We have to try. Our goal is to try. Okay. Try our best and write the answer. And uh, I think I, I, I told you to send me your name. Did you send you all? Yes, my name. Yeah, please send your name so that I can give you the attendance. Okay. Do you have to send my name again? You submit one time? If you submit one time, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna send it again just in case. Okay, okay. Then send it. I don't want to mark that. Okay. I try to participate today, so. Yo, any idea when I can get like a bogey break or something? Okay. What'd you say? Uh, I, I I say that the for your attendance, just write your name in the message box. Okay, from there I I give you an attendance. Uh, today I found twenty student present. I think we had twenty one. I don't know maybe someone left and then he joined something like this maybe. That was the kind of bogey you smoked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and uh, next time I'll directly connect with this blackboard attendance. New for 100s or new for shorts? Shorts. What pack today? Professor Kazi, you're, you're a good professor. Hope you know that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like Any question? No. Do you have no, any question? I, 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 just, I just hope I can do this by myself. Right when I get off this call, I hope I just don't forget everything. Which one are you going to forget? No, no, I'm saying I hope I hope I don't forget the, the rule of each one. I know I have the, the documents and everything. I have the notes and everything, but I just hope I don't forget it when I'm doing the lab. Because okay. be no good. Okay. But, well, I mm -hmm. learned from the best. I learned from the best. It's all right. So yeah. Well, you to try your best, okay? Try your best, and then you can discuss with your friend also. Now it's easy. You don't need to move, uh, move come to school. The time you spend, uh, we usually spend in transportation. That time, if you use for our study, then it's fine. You can communicate with your friend, and then it's, uh, discuss together. And then also make one and submit, so that I can give you all very good points. Right, my uh, professor. I do better in class than uh, over yeah, online. online. Yeah, man. Okay, no problem. Try. I'll ch I'll see. I'll check. I'll help. No problem. I don't want to bombard you with emails either. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't even know. I, I forgot how to send an email to a professor. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, you forget how to send email. Uh, I sent today. I sent you the link in email, right? Mm -hmm. uh, there, there is. Did you find my email address? Uh, let me check my let me check my outlook right now. Oh no. My email address is K O B A I B U L L H at 
I'm sorry. Can you? I, I, uh, let me let me refresh my page. No, I don't see any any email right now from on my Outlook. Okay, my my email also in the syllabus. The syllabus uploaded in Blackboard. Did you see? Yeah, I'm gonna go see it again. Right. The syllabus. Yeah, I uploaded the syllabus. In the Blackboard content is available. All right. And there, there, is also, there is also my, my email address. Okay, this is my email address. Professor, can we finish? Um. Questions. Can we finish finish question three and four on the top by the uh, the prefix and the in, in engineering notations? Damn, bro. Yeah, for real. God, <laughs> that's the last one I ever did. Wait, professor, I have a question. Yeah. So, do we upload it like as a PDF file or do we upload it to email? I'm confused. Uh, you can upload PDF file. You can upload your MS Word, okay, or PowerPoint, okay. But oh, it's, I, have to, I have to upload in content, right? You said content. Yeah, Blackboard. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. The, in the Blackboard section, oh. we have an assignment, okay, assignment. In the assignment, uh, in the assignment, there is a there. I upload, <coughs> and, and students solve over there and they submit over there. Okay, this is one system, easy system. But in your case, if you are not familiar with this thing, then I have to think other way. Yeah, uh, other way, the way then you have to send me email. Okay. And when you send me email, then you have to send me email in a specific time. Sorry, specific gosh. time. Why? Because otherwise, you know, every day I receive more than 100 email. So if one student submit morning, other is this, other is this, and other is next day, then it's very difficult to find uh, your uh, documents from the email. Okay, that's why if you submit like, like the before, beginning of the class, if you submit, okay, let's say Mr. Prof Mr. Professor, let's go class is six. You submit from five to six anytime. Professor, I got a question. Yeah. Ooh. So I, if I'm doing it on Lucy, can I uh, just scan it and just email it to you? Yeah, you can do. It. That's what I'm saying. You can write in. You can write in extra space. You can do. You can type through the computer. You can do. You can Wait, write in. You, I'm sorry, doc, um, professor. Where do you where do you upload it again? I'm in like the the OL21, right? That's this class, right? Yeah, lab twenty one. Uh, lab one is uploaded for you. Okay. Yeah, I see it. But like, where do I upload it to? I don't see like a, a link to paste it to. Okay. So the the part we discussed today, up to this, you complete and submit in next class. Or if you want to submit all together, then it's difficult for you. Use work for you, right? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Like I'm saying, I'm asking you, like, where do I like attach the PDF to? Because I don't see like a, a thing to upload it. I give the email address here. Oh, you're gonna give me the email? Oh, I submit it to your email. Okay. Yeah, you can. Uh, yeah, uh, no, this thing I'm saying, like, the, you you may be the first student, so that's why in the Blackboard we have an option. Okay, there you can I upload the. Uh, homework or assignment and then the student open this file from there and they answer from there and they submit over there okay this is very smart technology so but uh, if you don't know then in that case maybe it takes some time so that's why i give you the email address also but when you send me email attached in my email then please submit it before your class start okay okay yeah, no so problem. That i can grab it yeah okay no problem. I'm gonna copy and paste your email to my Google Docs. Yes. Uh, professor. Yeah. I'm on blood, but I don't see a link where I can submit. No, no. He said he said that that he sent the email in the chat of today's lecture. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy the lab number one. You're gonna answer it, scan it, and send it to his email instead of um, post it on Blackboard. Yeah. Uh, I thought he said that there was going to be a link where we can do it directly from Blackboard. Yeah, it, there is a, there is a, a system to submit in Blackboard also. Okay. Yeah, have, um, have you have you set it up yet? Because I don't see nothing yet. Okay, so I did not give you assignment section anything in the Blackboard. Okay, why not give? Then you can see. Oh, all right. You understand? Okay. Yes. So. The work I give you, this same, same thing, I'm going to keep you in the assignment section <coughs> so that you can solve, open the blackboard and so you can solve over there, submit over there. 
Okay, there, there is one system and another system. If any student needs, uh, if any student want to submit through the email, you can submit an email also. Okay. But one thing keep in mind: just email me just before the cluster one hour before. Okay, so that I can collect, uh, keep everything, collect everything very quickly. So you want you want me to remind you? So like, let's say I finish it like tomorrow night. You want me to like send it to you tomorrow night and then remind you? Uh, you don't need to remind. When you finished. Uh, just keep with you and before the cluster you can send me. Oh, okay. Between five and six, you said, right? Okay. And when you send me, then one important thing keep in mind that in the uh when you email me, then subject section, you must have to write your section name. Okay? Class I got you. Name. Class number is on C D one one five zero lab. Okay, then I will understand uh, someone from my class, lab class. Okay, then I have to focus more. No problem. Uh, if, Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Professor, are we going to work on this lab uh, the next time too? So, sorry, we, Nick. Yeah. Are we going to work on this lab uh, next time, next week? The, next time I'll do the 1.6. Okay, 1.6 we ah. did complete today. So this okay. Part of the day, next time, okay? All right, so okay. we're just going so to work up to... Um, Yo, the metal bar goes in the well, 1.5, uh, okay? The topic right. we did, like the page number, uh, page number is, uh, what's the page number? So it, it's 12, we complete up to 12 today, right? Up to 12 or 11, whatever it is. Uh, not this part, this part I have to explain to you, okay? So, so just stop at uh, 12? No, 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 stop by, two, uh, you complete, before the, look here the number exercise 1.6 oh stop at one point yeah we did not complete this one okay right. up to 1.5 1.5 up to or up to okay right 1.5 okay all right great and thanks for joining with us it's a wonderful time i enjoy with you yeah i enjoy, enjoy with you with you. Dr. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, Professor. Yeah. Had a great time today. Actually, I've enjoyed if anything, Okay, if anything, any question, email me, okay? I'll do okay. Do you okay. have any office Excellent. hours? Oh, yeah, great uh, question. Office hours before the, before the class? Okay, well, before like, the class? Like five, like 5 o'clock? 5, five okay. Yeah, after 5, I'm in, in my desk for you. Okay, no problem. Thank you, okay. Pro thank okay. you Professor. Have a thank wonderful you for another great session. Thank you, thank you for your knowledge. Thank you, thank you. Bye-bye. How's it going, Professor? No,